Hi, I am Cynthia. How can I help you? And I'm Russ Anderson, and this is an introduction to Cynthia, our revolutionary new instructable assistant for Synthize. We'll start simple. Click Auto, please. OK. The solve is done. Click OK, please. OK. Camera view, please. OK. Play, please. OK. Stop, please. OK. Stop listening, please. OK. OK, so that's some pretty basic stuff. Cynthia knows all about menu commands, the different control rooms, etc. It's typical voice response stuff. It's not going to do a whole lot. It can save some time, especially on large monitors, when you don't want to have to move your mouse all the way around to go hit some menu. And it saves you from having to know some whole bunch of keyboard accelerators. You can just say the voice command at the same time you're mousing around. But Cynthia does far more, so let's uh, step it up here. Select the worst 10 trackers, please. OK. Make them hot pink, please. OK. Flash and select the five trackers with the smallest lifetime, please. OK. Make the selected trackers deep pink, please. OK. The number of deep pink and hot pink trackers, please. 15. Delete them, please. OK. Solve the scene, please. OK. The solve is done. Click OK, please. OK. Make the best 10 trackers purple, please. OK. Export only the purple trackers, please. OK. Export to Lightwave. Cancel. Export to Lightwave. Cancel. Export to Lightwave. Please. OK. Stop listening. Please. OK. So there you got to see some more different functionality. You get to see. You know, we're at the mercy of the voice recognition software, which is actually part of the operating system, not part of Cynthia itself. So as the operating system vendors, namely Microsoft and Apple, go and improve their voice recognition technology, Cynthia will be able to take advantage of that immediately. So really what we're doing is the ability to interpret these much more complicated questions and there's no no specific list or limitation on the nature of those questions you know so how are, how is this all set up what's going on and to do that we need to talk about rules because everything in Cynthia is stored as rules and nobody likes to follow rules but here's the key thing the more of them there are the easier things get. So we'll start out just with rules about pink. Rule 1652, rule 1668, rule 1683, rule 1722. So there are four different rules about different shades of pink. And you'll see that they each have a rule number, they've got a web type uh, color specification, 
and it's indicated that in fact it's producing a color, this particular rule. And there's some technical information as well, since this is kind of a built-in uh, sort of thing. But in general, we get more and more rules for all kinds of different things, not just colors, but all everything to do. And you see that in fact there are many, many more rules that are there. So we've got rules we can ask about. We can do rules about click. Rule 847, rule 855, rule 856, and 21 more. So there are rule 125, rule 126, rule 127, and 49 more. So the key point is here, you know, not only do we have a lot of rules, we have rules that let us look at the rules to see what it is we know, and the rules have you know, a lot of different combinations, a lot of different ways to talk about things. And so the more of them there are, the higher the odds that whatever you say is already going to be interpreted by Cynthia. So there are a lot of rules, and you can add to those rules yourself as well. So let's take a look at that. And we're going to start out, and again, I'm just going to type, but uh, we could be speaking as well. But let's talk about colorizing the scene. And that uh, last little example there, you know, we, we set up different kinds of trackers as different flavors of pink. So suppose we wanted to do that in a bunch of different scenes, we could want to uh, set up a rule that would let us do that easily enough. So let's say Okay. So here I've just set up a rule for colorize the scene. And now all of a sudden. Okay. Presto. Cynthia knows how to colorize the scene. So I've just taught it something. And a lot of what Cynthia already knows has been done just the same way. It's been taught to Cynthia. So let's take a look at something a bit more complicated. If we had a couple more steps, we want to, might want to do something a little bit jazzier and if we were going to tell our assistant you know a whole process for how we want to do things and you know, we give them a whole little step-by-step -step, uh, procedure and you can do that with Cynthia too so let's define a procedure to prepare the scene Recording say. procedure for prepare the scene Finished recording rule 5787. So again, now Cynthia knows how to prepare the scene. So let's take a look at uh, that. Rule 5787. So now you see the step by step procedure that we set up. And in fact, you could have little things that say, depending on the situation, go back to step two, you know, bring the number of trackers or the trackers that you found in step three and we use them in step four, all kinds of cool things like that. So let's look at a slightly more interesting example. Now I, I've already typed this into Notepad and I'm just going to copy and paste it into the input box. And you can see Recording this uh, example. Or name a click tracker. The name Finished recording rule 5788. Recording procedure for name my favorite trackers. Finished recording rule 5789. So this is in the manual as well, if you want to take a look at it later. So what does it do?
the string quote top left unquote. So now I'm just going to go quote, and click high, unquote. the string quote bottom left unquote on these different trackers and as you see the name is changing as the I string, click on quote, them. bottom right unquote. Okay. If you've handled many green screen shots, you'll recognize how useful this is. On each new shot, you can run this procedure and give each tracking mark a consistent name. Then you import a small file of XYZ coordinates for each named tracker, so that after you solve, each file comes out with the same coordinate system, and you can just drop in your virtual set. So this is an example of what you can do with Cynthia. You're teaching it what you want done, just like you would a colleague or assistant, using pretty natural English. And it's not just you teaching Cynthia. Cynthia has cloud capabilities that bring new rules, both rules that work and rules that customers want to work, back to the factory for analysis. We can then broadcast new rules to Cynthia without necessarily changing the software itself. If that's too big brother for you, don't turn it on. Cynthia has a ton of capabilities, and we've just scratched the surface. To find out more, I invite you to read the manual. Okay, stop laughing. I know that nobody likes to read manuals, and because of that, I made it as fun as possible. It's designed so that you read the manual and run Cynthia and Synthize at the same time. There are exercises to do as you go through the manual, and there are answers for those exercises. Whether you have the answers right in the first place or not, it's worth reading the answers because there's more good information in them too. Unlike most manuals where you read it and your eyes gloss over and you know little more by the end, if you read this manual and do the exercises, I think you'll be surprised how much you can learn. You'll then be ready to tackle the future with Cynthia. Thanks for listening.